Doctors are trying out a new experiment to help people cope with terminal cancer, and some might find it controversial as, you know, medical marijuana. Well, this new solution involves not marijuana, but magic mushrooms. Deb Fayrick has the story. If somebody were to say, well, how did you feel on your worst day? Is this a pretty good representation? Yeah, I think so. Just dark and mm -hmm. wretched and... Yeah, gloomy. With incurable stage four cancer spreading through her body, artist Norma Loring decided she had little to lose. Early one morning in a Manhattan doctor's office, she put on headphones, lay down, and swallowed a powerful psychedelic drug with the same chemical properties as those magic mushrooms that came to define the Woodstock generation of the 60s. It's kind of a, a wonderful visual world of colors and figures and motion and more profound than that for me was a feeling of maybe being connected through time to other artists to a creative force and to a feeling of uh of peace. In combination with therapy, that feeling lasted nearly five months. Though for some people taking part in this FDA approved New York University study, the feeling has lasted even longer. Because it's in the same legal category as cocaine, heroin, and crystal meth, the drug is kept under lock and key. So this is it? This small vial contains 100 doses of psilocybin, the active ingredient in magic mushrooms, and is valued at $12,000. Dr. Stephen Ross, an addiction specialist at NYU, has been given a license by drug agents to test whether the drug can help end-stage cancer patients like Norma. I've been very surprised in terms of um, patients having reduction or resolution of death anxiety, decreased depression, uh, living their lives more meaningfully, interacting with family members. Dr. Michael Gus is a trial investigator. Sometimes people with cancer um, <clears throat> begin to die earlier than their body actually dies. They begin to withdraw, feel like life has no purpose, life has no meaning. The trial is only in its second phase, but Gus says findings show a single dose helps people with terminal cancer let go of lifelong behaviors and habits. It's our hope that helping them have a spiritual or mystical experience will awaken and relatively quickly awaken a new way of understanding themselves. Norma Loring, a naturally positive person, says she is now more at peace. A feeling of being connected to people, the universe, the past, the present, that I'm just sort of passing through here. Deborah Fayrick, CNN, New York.